Hi everyone, I'm Alejandra from Alejandra.tv and in this video we are talking about how to organize your most important documents at home. So if you find yourself in an emergency situation and you have to quickly evacuate your house, you don't have to run throughout your house looking for like your most vital records, deciding what to grab, what not to grab, and probably not thinking straight. And instead you can just go to like one place in your house, grab your most important documents and evacuate your house. So before we get started, if you have stacks of paperwork in your house and you are having a hard time getting started, getting yourself to show up and begin sorting out your paperwork, there is a link below to check out my Paper Clutter Kickstart, which is a mini course designed to help you get started um, easily with sorting things out because sorting is always the very first step when it comes to organizing your paperwork. Okay, so this is the bag right here where I have my most important documents. It is a fire resistant and water resistant bag and it lives in a safe place in the house where both my husband and I know exactly where to find this bag you know, if we're ever in an emergency situation and need to grab this thing and go. Um, the biggest thing is to isolate your vital records and um, safeguard them in a safe place. So a great place to keep your most important documents is in a safe that is bolted to the ground or bolted to um, a stud in the wall. So let me go ahead and show you what is inside. And I will put a link to where you can find this bag and what I'm gonna show you inside. Okay, so right here I have this legal size accordion organizer. So I labeled it vital documents because they're vital documents and I used an orange label because when I think of important, I think of the color orange. And I found a legal size accordion for, you know, some of the legal size paperwork as opposed to letter size. And using this organizer with this bag, it's kind of like a tight fit, but it does work and um, I feel like it just fits nicely. Okay, so inside here I have 12 different tabs with all of the different categories of most important documents. So I'm gonna go through the categories with you. So the first category is birth certificates or death certificates. Um, and this can also include any adoption paperwork or any adoption paperwork from animals or like birth, birth records from like pets or something. The next category is uh, social security. The next category is um, passport and ID, which can also be like any immigration paperwork or citizenship paperwork. The next category is marriage. So this is like marriage, divorce, any like prenuptial agreements if you have that. The next one is car title, which is really like any automobiles. So it could be your car, an RV, a boat, a motorcycle. The next category is house deed. And so this can also be any title insurance that you have for your current house or previous house as well. Any trust documentation. The next category is will. So this could be a living will as well or um, estate planning. The next category is financial. So uh, anything related to money. So if you had a loan and you uh, paid off your loan and you got a statement saying, you know, your loan is fully paid off, go ahead and keep that statement inside the financial section. And all of these documents are all documents that you wanna keep permanently. These are all documents that either cannot be replaced or are difficult to be replaced. And so that's why we want to isolate and safeguard these documents. So other financial records are um, any like savings bonds or if you have a safety deposit box, maybe you have a list of contents that's in that box, that would go here as well. Appraisals, so any appraisals for like antiques, jewelry or art or any ownership certificates that you have would go in that category. Government, so government is any security clearance paperwork, any military paperwork, uh, anything related to an audit if you've been audited or any uh, police records or something. And then the last category is business. So business can be any copyrights, any trademarks, any uh, patents or any business agreements like contracts or something, like really big contracts that would go in here. And then the last category I don't have here is legal. So 
Legal can be like a custody agreement or final settlement paperwork or a power of attorney or something. But anyways, see what vital records you have around your house. And if you're just getting started and you see this and you're like, wow, I really need to set this thing up, you know, grab a box, grab a reasonable bag, or go out and find an accordion organizer just like this and go on like a scavenger hunt around your house looking for all of these categories and see what you find. And maybe you find like, you know, three out of 12 of the categories, which is, you know, a wonderful start. The next time you can make time to work on this project, you know, maybe you find another category of documents. You just keep iterating and keep making it better and better. And eventually you will get to this beautiful vital documents organizer. And if you are a person who loves to organize and you're excited about setting something up just like this, one thing you can do is make this for um, someone in your life that is having a birthday or is celebrating something um, that doesn't love to organize or someone that has a lot on their plate and they are having a hard time prioritizing organizing. This would make such a unique gift that really I feel like everyone needs inside of their home. So something else you can do is you can further categorize each section. So if you have a lot of financial documents that are like permanent, you never wanna get rid of, sort them by category within the financial section, uh, paper clip them together, put a sticky note on the cover sheet, writing the category of the name and put it inside of here. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, the biggest thing is to isolate your most important documents and safeguard them. So when you need them, they are easily accessible and they are nice and organized. And if you did this, your future self will thank you for it. Thank you for being here. Uh, again, if you are just getting started with paper clutter and you are looking for a great place to start and you need support, there is a link below. Thank you for being here and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.